Hey, welcome back everyone. Um, today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do just a little bit of a show and tell only because uh, some of the parts that I've ordered haven't arrived just yet. So I did go out and purchase a couple of different little parts so I'll show you that for our sink and tell you about our water tanks and what we plan on doing next. Um, so when I when I get done showing you uh, the parts that I have and what I plan on doing, uh, I'd like to also, if you would indulge me, show you a project that I built uh, some years back, uh, several years ago, with uh, my son and I, uh, my little teardrop camper. And a shout out to George Lee for uh, bringing that up. Uh, he's uh, one of the subscribers. Um, who also built a teardrop trailer. His link down below uh, will take you to uh, his trailer. So he's a subscriber on another channel and they posted his trailer and pictures and such. So uh, get a chance going over and take a look at his work and I'm sure that you're gonna be pleased with that just as, uh, just as well. So with that, let me show you uh, some of the things I got, what we plan on doing, how it's gonna kinda be hooked up and uh, then we'll get on with the show. Stay tuned. So a couple of parts that I purchased, uh, obviously the sink strain, strainer, the sink drain, uh, and I got these from eTrailer.com. Uh, it took a little bit of searching to find exactly what I wanted because most of the trailer uh, strainers and such have such a large opening down here that you'd have to to get the trap and everything else and I didn't want to go that route so I purchased this strainer which has if I can get it out here a little adapter that you can use to put a 3 8 inch hose on so your strainer would go down into your sink and this attaches to it just like that and you would put your your hose to your tank to drain it that's what I was looking for something just short simple and sweet to get directly into the tank and uh, we can call it good if I didn't want to use that I did purchase something else which I think is uh, pretty good. This here also will attach to the bottom of the strainer, just like so. Maybe. There we go. Now this has a hose hookup. So I'm thinking that the hose that came with my sink, that braided nylon stainless steel hose, can attach here, go to a nipple that's on my tank, and I can uh, still use that, although that the hose is um, very thin. So um, hopefully no food particles and stuff like that go down to the sink and it clogs up that hose. Other than that, if I was just using the hose for water just to drain it, I think that would work pretty decent. Just put a fitting on the tank, put my hose on here, put it on my tank, Voila, I'm in business. Okay, let me show you what this thing looks like installed and, uh, and then we'll talk about our tank. So with our strainer attached to the sink, which is just kind of hand tight right now, it's not in uh, position or I don't have anything under here to seal it. Just hand tight under here. The nipple comes down just like that, attach a three inch hosing to that and uh, and that will go into the tank. Uh, the tank that I purchased, let me see if I can't get the drawing here for you. That is the tank that I am going to use. So it is 16 inches long, 12 inches wide, 12 inches tall. And that gives me plenty of space under here. Uh, 16 inches by 12 which would be about right in here and of course 12 inches somewhere about right in here and that leaves me enough time enough 
uh, space that I can attach the hosing right into the tank. And I'll have a drain at the bottom, which will come out and go down to the, to the bottom of the trailer and drain out. That is going to work great. Shout out to uh, Steve Seifert, who uh, was telling me about the tanks. He messaged me and let me know that uh, the type of tank he was going to purchase. Most of the tanks I was looking at already had fittings installed. And uh, trying to find a tank where the fittings are in the right spot uh, is actually fairly difficult. And I didn't want the uh, huge inch and a quarter, inch and a half inlets or outlets to fill or drain the tank. So uh, I did find National Tank Outlet, which these tanks will be coming from. Uh, he suggested an access plate, and I thought that was a great idea. Uh, I bought mine already installed, so when I get uh, an idea of where I'm going to have all the fittings, I just take the access plate off, drill my holes, put my bulkhead fittings in. That way I can reach in the tank and tighten everything up. Put the access plate in, hook everything up, and boom, I'm in business. So, shout out to Steve. Thank you, Steve. That was a good idea. Um, I purchased two of these. These are 10 gallon tanks. I'll have a 10 gallon holding tank and I will have a 10 gallon um, water tank underneath. I thought I would go bigger uh, on the water tank, but uh, I, I think these things must be lined with gold because uh, good Lord, they're expensive. Just the two little small boxes that I got uh, just break around about 300 bucks, $282 with shipping brand new, uh, and that's no fittings yet. So uh, you go bigger than that, they get more expensive. These are rota molded, uh, linear low, uh, high density material, rota molded. I work for a rota molded company. I know what it costs to make these, and I'll tell you what, they're making bank. So with that, uh, it is what it is, and I'll be happy when they come hooked up. I will have water and uh, a holding tank, so I'll be happy. Um, yeah, it'll work. I think that'll that'll be good. So with that, uh, those are the parts that I purchased. They're parts from eTrailer.com. Uh, the brand name of those parts are. Uh, Valterra, I believe is what they're pronounced. Uh, they're very expensive. I think the strainer was less than 20 bucks with the part, and the other part was like six or seven dollars, and then uh, then they ship it to you. That's the one I said in last week where I paid uh, um, two day shipping and it didn't arrive until a week later. But uh, they sent a follow up email, and I said everything was great, love the parts, they're going to work perfect. The only gripe I had was that. Uh, you know, no fault of their own was there was a delay in the shipping, so the two day I didn't receive. I received it a week later, and they uh, they reimbursed the cost of the two sh two day shipping. So uh, shout out to eTrailer.com, a uh, good place to shop for. Search their website, and you're going to find a lot of good deals, a lot of nice parts for your trailer. And uh, I'll be sh I'll be shopping there uh, for more stuff. So anyway. Uh, that's it for today for at least inside this trailer. Now, uh, if you will let me, I would like to show you um, the trailer that I built before this one. Actually, when I after I built it and we used it for a couple years, uh, I ended up selling it, and that is what funded the, uh, the cost of this trailer. Plus, uh, my son was young enough. It also paid for a little trip to Disneyland in California, and we had a great time. So, hope you enjoy that. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thank you to all those who uh, have subscribed and watch and uh, staying tuned. So, hang in there. A little bit more to come, and uh, before you know it, we're going to be out camping. That's good. Stay tuned.